What's going on YouTube? Keith Moore Jr. here. So today was my first day back in the gym since the doctor told me to take three days off from doing upper body. So the reason why I didn't go to the gym at all for those days was because I know myself and I originally said I was still gonna go there and do legs, but I know if I went to the gym, I was going to do some type of upper body. So what I decided to do was, you know, do my uh, squat every day from home instead of going to the gym to do it. So he said take two to three days off completely from upper body and I did that. So I did uh, back and biceps today and honestly I didn't feel much pain in my shoulder. I did slightly when I got to hammer curls but now primarily my pain was um, right in here. So. And I think that's something connected to my bicep. I'm not sure. I'll find out when I uh, go back to see him next week because <clears throat> that that pain is really bad when I'm doing uh, when I was doing my movements, even on lat pull downs, the pain was bad. So something I wanted to address really quickly is if you take time off from the gym when you lose your gains, no, like like three days off to me feels like a month because I've been lifting since I was like 13 years old consistently but there were times where you know back when I was playing basketball in high school and stuff like I wouldn't lift during the season I mean I was young so I probably should have been but I didn't not like I should have been I'll say that I would do like body weight stuff but I wasn't hitting the gym and uh, injuries like when I ruptured my Achilles I took an extended amount of time off from the gym. Now, if you take an extended amount of time off from the gym, then yes, you will lose some gains, but it's not something that you can't get back. But three days, like some people feel bad, like if they miss one or two days off from the gym, they're like, oh, I feel like a slob or something like that. Like not a lot is going to happen in those couple, you know, those two to three days where you're missing the gym. It's not the end all be all. Now, if you take an extended amount of time off, like, okay, three months, you know, six months, a year, something like that, then yes, you're going to lose some gains. Depending on how long you've been um, working out, you can lose some significant gains. But like I said, don't, don't let time off from the gym be an excuse to not, you know, get back in there. So... Everything felt okay today. My strength felt okay, but like I said, I couldn't um, go as heavy as I wanted to on some exercises. But as you all can see, like my physique is still, you know, intact. Everything is still going according to plan. So we're going to continue this lean bulk, and hopefully, once my shoulder heals, I can really attack my shoulders more because I do feel like I lost some, uh, some. How do I say? some muscles in my in my delts but that's probably not the case i think it's just a mental thing for me so i just wanted to cover that topic real quick on whether you will you know lose all your gains if you miss gym time and also want to address if you can if you take an extended amount of time off whether it be for injury or whatnot can you you know get those you know build that muscle back up and the answer is yes now if you have an injury or something like that something similar to like what I have, but it's a minor injury, then listen to your body. Like if it's something serious, do not try to go to the gym and push it, especially if it's something that the doctor, you know, told you to take it easy on because then you run into the issue of, wow, I'm, I'm going to make this injury worse and force myself to have an extended absence from the gym. So that's all I want to talk about today. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more content. Peace.